Hey guys, so I'm back here with Naomi and we're now going to go over the eighth coin, which is Tether. And the reason why Tether is so unique, it's a store of value. So basically one Tether, Naomi, is one dollar. And that's basically what it is. So if crypto market is crashing, you probably want to convert your uh, crypto into Tether. And then once the prices go down, you can then swap your Tether for a lot more Bitcoin. Does that make sense or no? Makes sense. Yeah, so like for example, Tether is always going to be a dollar for value or around there. It occasionally goes down to like 95 cents or sometimes it's worth like during a, a really bad crash, it'll be worth like a dollar and two cents. But let's just say your Bitcoin was at 10,000, right? And you decide to cash out and you get 10,000 uh, Tethers. And then all of a sudden Bitcoin goes down to 6,000. Then you use your 10,000 tether to buy not one bitcoin but you actually get like 1.6 so that's what the play is for tether but um if you do some research there was like a controversy that they were just creating tether without actually having the dollars like they were just creating i feel like that's everyone every crypto's controversy <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. and so they did an audit and it seems like it's legit but once Isn't again, that the point that, of crypto that there's really nothing to back it up, so it doesn't exist. But we're put adding the value. Isn't that the entire point of these like entire videos, though? Yeah. So yeah, I mean, like I said, it's an unregulated market. So because it's not regulated, and also even when it's regulated, had to pull out. Had to pull out that ninety-nine cent store degree. <laughs> Well, anyways, so the, the thing with Tether, though, it's been it has a track record now. It's been a lot or it's been around for a while. And we'll pull up the tr Tether graph really quick. And so it's been very stable. So like I said, if you're on. Yeah, like, look, so the price of Tether just occasionally will dip. It went down to 91 cents. So if Tether ever goes down to 91 cents, you should probably buy it. And then during a crash, it went up to like 104. But it's pretty stable. Um, so if for whatever reason, you don't want to hold actual U.S. dollars, um, and you can do this. The reason why people are going to use Tether, too, is because when you go in and out of U.S. dollars, you have to pay taxes, where if you go into Tether, you don't. So that's another use case for Tether, is that you can go in and out of the dollar position, but it's not going to be reported to the government, so you don't have to pay taxes. That's the beauty of all the cryptos. <laughs> Pretty much. And so the next coin we're going to go over is um, Monero. I'm going to do a channel takeover. I'm I'm running these videos now. I'm the captain. Okay, now. so you, you want to talk about Monero? I'll have you talk about no. Monero. No. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, so our next video will be Monero. We're going to cover Monero. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching.